Welcome guys, today in this video I am going to show you some of the best commands in AutoCAD which definitely help you to improve your productivity and get work faster. So let's get started. The very first command is array in a copy. Okay, So how to use array in a copy. Uh, here is a text and I want to uh, copy this text in all the boxes. Okay, So very fast method is just copy this one and then select the best point. And then here and down below you can see the array option or you can type here a and then enter now you have to type the number of times how how number of how many times you want to copy this one I'm gonna type here 10 and then you can see you have to just choose another point and then the text is copied very fast so this is the very first command now I have to uh, number this one also this is a one two three like this first of all I have to just copy the first row here and here okay now I have to just uh, number 1 2 3 to 10 and then here to 11 to 20 and then 21 to 30 so the next command is to number these things very faster okay so here you have to just type TC it's a T count and then press enter now you have to select the first row and then press enter and then select the x direction because the horizontal is x here you can see so you have to choose x direction and then you have to type starting point and then comma and then increment here the starting point is 1 then comma and then increment is also 1 and then press enter and now this overwrite you can see 1 2 3 to 10 now here we have to type just 11 to 20 this is slightly tricky you have to just type 20 and then decrement of 1 let me show you how you have to just type TC and then select and then enter and then X direction and here you have to uh, uh, type a starting point is 20 and then comma and increment of minus 1 which is actually a decrement and then press enter and then overwrite okay so this is very easy just x then 21 then comma then 1 and then enter and then overwrite so this is the next command now the another command is uh, encircle this uh, all the text very fast so here is an express tool and then you have to click on uh, text and then you can see here the enclose text with object you have to click this one and then select all the texts and then press enter and then you have to type uh, offset I usually type point 10 and then enter and then circles and then I will just use a constant circles and here you can see the circle is uh, uh, automatically drawn along this uh, text so this is a very fast method okay now the next command is T just okay let me show you what is a T just and how to use this one okay uh, first of all uh, let me select this text and here you can see the grip is in the center okay if I want to move this grip uh, here here or here I can uh, move this one using a T just command okay uh, first of all type uh, T J and then press enter and then select text and then press enter and here you can see a number of options which is a which is a t left which is a top left uh, top center top right middle left i'm using a top left option and now you can see grip is in a top left and th this one has a in the center okay let me show you how this is useful okay let's say uh, you have increased the size of this one a little bit like this okay so whenever you uh, apply this property to this one this will work perfectly you can see but if you provide uh, this property to this one okay you can see the text is actually uh, not in a center okay let me just delete the circles you can see the text is not in a center okay so you have to adjust all the text manually so in that way the TJ is useful now the another next command is dimension this boxes quickly okay so here is a command which is called a quick dimension and you have to just type Q and then DIM and then press enter and then you have to select the lines let me select this lines 
and then press enter and here you can see the dimension is very quick uh, quickly uh, this is the quickest way to use uh, to, to to dimension this objects now the next command is here an associative hatch okay so if i stretch this object you can see the hatch is not being stretched but if i use associative hatch let me show you how to use this one i will just press h and then enter and then here you can see the associative option select associative and then add pick point and then you have to add here and then press enter and then enter now this is the associative edge and this are the non associative edge so whenever you stretch up this one you can see hedge is automatically adjusted along with this okay so this is a i think a good way to use this one and now the another command is filled and sum you can see i have already uh, uh, completed a table which shows the carpet area of this plan okay uh, here you can see the living kitchen bedroom uh, and the here you can see the carpet area okay this is automatically uh, collected from here you have to just draw a polyline here and then the area of the polyline is actually reflected here let me show you how to use this one if you click here you can see this is a field actually okay so how to use field let me show you first of all I have to just uh, make a new text. Okay, I just type new, and then you have to just select a text, and then uh, and then press Control F, and then here you have to choose objects, and here you can see object, and here you have to select the object, and I'm gonna select the object this one, this polyline. And here you can see the area the area preview is here in a uh, uh, inch square you can adjust this one here you can see the conversion factor also you, you can use conversion factor to convert this inch square into fit square i have already corrected this one so you can see the area of this polygon is reflected over here whenever you change the polyline the area is automatically get changed and if you want to use in a square fit you have to use a, a conversion factor let me show you uh, here you can see con additional format here you can see conversion factor is used so the inch square is converted into the square fit so this is a useful command maybe now the next command is multiple stretch let's say you have to stretch up this one and this one simultaneously so here is a option in express tool in modify in multiple stretch you can see here you have to select this one you have to select this one you have to select uh, this one you have to select this one okay and then enter and then you can see this is being stretched simultaneously now the next command is use a shift instead of uh, ortho mode turn and turn off turn on and turn off uh, again and again so you can use ortho mode let's say you have to uh, draw a line which is not uh, you know uh, not uh, perpendicular or not horizontal or not vertical so you can use a shift button okay uh, you don't uh, you do not have to turn off the mode again and again you don't you do not have to turn on and off mode again and again you have to just uh, press and hold a shift button so this is a quick quicker way maybe now the next one is find and replace uh, here this is a drawing and here in this uh, let's say we have to replace this living by hall maybe okay so the good way is find and then you have to just find uh, living and then replace with a hall and you just select drawing and then press enter and then replace all okay here you can see the quick way to rename this one now the next command is layer lock okay suppose you are drawing in different layer and you you have to lock some specific drawing for example i have to just lock this zero layer and then I'm using this all kind of 
another layer so whenever whenever i lock this layer i cannot make change this one okay you can see i cannot make change this one so this is uh, very useful sometimes we we, we accidentally uh, make changes uh, in this type of drawing now the next command is a select similar okay uh, let's say you have to select this section line you can see there is a section line here here and here you have to select all the section line then the quickest way is here you have to select this one this uh, this portion and then right click here you can see the select similar option if you select similar option then you can see the all three section lines are selected so this is a quick way maybe now the next one is using a lice editor you can here see in express tool tools and you can see command a lice editor let me open this one command a lice editor here you can see this is a command and this is a lice which is a shortcut here i have assigned some of uh, my own shortcuts which is a one for dimension align two for ops three for boundary like that so uh, you can use uh, this kind of command uh, uh using this shortcuts okay you can add here you have to just type a lice for example five and then you have to just uh, type uh, command here okay so this is a very good tool okay now the last command is a break line okay uh, here you can see in a stair we provide a break line over here so it shows the continuation of stair okay here, here in express tool you can see a draw option and here a break line symbol you have to just choose first point second point and then press enter so you can see this is a very quick way to add a break line okay so thanks for watching this video and subscribe my channel to watch more videos thank you thank you very much